I get. So you may recall a couple of weeks ago when I replaced this bad uh, O2 sensor, I mentioned then that my 420 code may come back because this car had the 420 code, which is a bad catalytic converter, when I bought it. And one of the things you can do to get around that is installing a plug defouler, which this one has on it. And that has worked on this car for several years. Of course, the O2 sensor went out, so I don't have the plug defouler on anymore. And this one's all rusty and crusty looking. Um, sure enough, driving around a couple of weeks, the uh, 420 code came back. So I bought this. This one's a little different. This is a stainless steel unit. And uh, we're gonna try it on there and see if it does as good a job as this one. Now this one here is just mild steel and I drilled the end out. So it's actually got um, a bigger port in the end than the stainless steel one. Uh, this one originally looked like this, uh, but I drilled it out. I'm not sure that was necessary. We're gonna put this one in without drilling it out. And we're gonna see if this stainless steel one does as good or a better job than the old steel one. Let's find out. So here we are back in the belly of the beast. This is the O2 sensor we're gonna be putting our defouler on. And uh, this is the plug we gotta unplug to be able to do that. There that goes, pop that loose. Uh, like I showed you before, crescent wrench for me. We'll take this off. This O2 sensor came new with ADCs already on the threads. That's what that plastic cover was if you watched my, uh, my O2 sensor video. Because we're taking it out, putting it back in, we're gonna add this other piece to it. I got some more ADCs that we're gonna be slathering on here a little bit. Because this piece that we're putting in is stainless steel, and this piece is steel, and that other piece is steel, when you're, when you're joining dissimilar metals, uh, they can gald, so. You want to be sure to give it a little bit of uh, insurance against it locking completely together. So just a little never sees on there. A little bit on here. Now we'll thread this onto here. Make sure your gasket's making. It just screws in just like your O2 sensor would. The other thing about the defouler is it brings your uh, hex section of this way out here where you can get on it with a wrench even easier. So that's a great thing. It's been very interesting. I've seen some videos online where people claim that this, uh, this technique is a myth and does not work. And uh, I can promise you, I bought this car. It had a 420 code. I put that defouler on it. It went away and it never, 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 never came back. So why does it work on some cars and not others? I don't really know. I think um, the Honda being a fairly straightforward system where you've got one here and one here, all you've got to do is get a difference in reading between these two really. Uh, this one needs to be reading less oxygen than that one. That's really what it needs to be seeing. So moving it back theoretically and limiting the amount of exhaust it's getting to the sensor, which is what that uh, step down in there does should go ahead and facilitate that. So, what we're gonna do now is uh, fire it back up and see if the code comes back. All right, there's that code. Let's zap it. And we'll see if it comes back. Successful, yay. That's really it for this week, kids. It's important to remember that this little modification is highly illegal in some states. You will not pass your uh, local emissions or safety inspections in some places. They will run a little mirror into your car. If they see that uh, spark plug defouler, you're out of there. You might even get fined. I don't really know. The place that I live doesn't require any of this, so uh, I'm not going to bother with it right now. Link in the uh, description for the part that I like and it's also important to remember that there are short spark plug defoulers and long spark plug defoulers. The short ones will not work with this modification because there's not enough room for the end of the uh, O2 sensor to actually 
uh, go in the thing. It's not long enough. And I don't know why people report that they don't have any luck with this. I've already driven the car about 75 miles. There's no check engine light. We're going to get it to that 300,000 mile with no check engine light. And I like that. Kind of trying to think of something a little special for the 300,000 mark. I think I'm just going to do a video where I explain the history of this particular car and what I've done with it and how I ended up with it and why it's in such terrible shape. So keep an eye out for that video. And until then, this is Clint Cersei saying, you can do this. I promise.